All right, guys, episode 21 game plan. We're gonna use some simple grain and we're going to try to clean this block and other associated parts because I'm gonna start reassembling. Now, yes, if I were doing a full rebuild on this, I would probably find somebody that does vapor honing or something and pay the money to go ahead and get it really, really nicely cleaned and detailed. But since, as you know from the rest of my video series, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, I'm just going to be reassembling this engine and not actually using it in the car since I got a new engine. This block is aluminum and uh, this stuff is safe for aluminum. So make sure you get the uh, simple green that is good for aluminum. All right, as always, never done this before. Let's just spray it down. Oh, this is nice and foamy. Let's let this sit for a few minutes. All right, I just have a uh, bristly brush here. Just going to uh, scrub it down here with this thing. And yes, I would normally use like a Scotch Bright pad or something like that that didn't have bristles that could come off, but. Uh, yeah, I don't have that. Yeah, so definitely don't use this if you're going to be reinstalling an engine. Use a different way to uh, scrub it down. So definitely see why people do the uh, chemical soaks now because there are so many nooks and crannies that are impossible to reach without using really really small instruments um, so yeah don't actually do this if you want to restore your own engine but at least we'll get to see how well this simple green foam stuff works
All right, so if you don't believe me, why not to use this method? This is why almost every single bristle has come out and is sitting somewhere on or around the engine block now. All right, I rummaged just drowned and found one of these under the sink. So let me uh, take over with this thing. Oh yeah, definitely much better already. You can just get to a lot of places you can't with the brush. All right, much, much cleaner than before, although still pretty dirty. So what I've learned in uh, all of this is if you're going to be rebuilding an engine, take it to somebody that can clean it for you. I could spend all day scrubbing on this and trying to clean it. And uh, it's just gonna be a giant pain. So next I'm just going to rinse this all off with water. If you have an iron block, of course, it's going to flash rust on you if you don't dry it off right away and coat the whole thing in some kind of oil and or WD-40. Um, this is an aluminum block, so it should be okay to be rinsed off with water, I'm told. Um, and the cylinder bores, I'll probably rub some oil on them um, just in case uh, we don't want anything going on in there. But um yeah all in all the other issue that i see if you were to clean your engine like this and try to reuse it is it did a really good job of getting all of the gasket crap off and stuff but where is that gasket stuff that's all like down here in the channels and even the blue uh, rag that i was using here you can see little bits of it left over so without a super thorough cleaning i wouldn't want to probably uh, go this route. So yeah, hire somebody or have a much better method of doing it than me again. For all of those who are gonna say bad things about what I did, I'm just doing it to kind of clean it up and keep me from getting dirty when I touch this thing while it's sitting in my garage. And if I didn't make this video, everybody would be asking me how I did it. So now you know. Okay, so that is the after, much, much better. All right, here's a little reminder of our before. So after, before, yeah. Got one more to go. Super disgusting, slightly disgusting. All right, where's my time-lapse fans out there? Let's uh, clean the second one. Uh, 
right here we have it. So, number two, poor quick attempt. But at least now it's clean enough that I can start assembling it. All right, good timing. Ferrari just won Le Mans, and my engine is uh, clean-ish now. So I dry it out uh, in here, letting the rest drip dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put pistons in this guy. All right, guys, that is it for this video. So uh, congrats, Ferrari, and uh, Porsche, you did pretty well too. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next installment where I will start fitting those pistons back into the block.